So when uh, when looking at the roller, uh, there's uh, or any machine, there's always two things that we need to look at. First thing is uh, the performance aspect, what the machine can do, and then the second thing, the condition of this particular machine. So we'll start talking about the performance. Uh, this is a ham, a 2006 AM HD12K, so it's a combination roller. So you have a, a smooth drum in the front, and you have uh, multiple uh, wheels in the back. Uh, the, t the machine is uh, 2.6 ton weight and the drum is 120 centimeter wide. Um, so these machines are usually used on the small areas where you need uh, compaction. Could be uh, like a, a small uh, entrance, a uh, small parking lot. Um, could also be a trench when the trench is wide enough. So sometimes you would see that there's a hook. Uh, on side of the machine like uh, over the drum there's a place where you can hook chain and over the tires you can see that and uh, like here so the machine could be uh, uh, hooked up with with chain and then lift up by a larger excavator and drop into into the trench uh, so this is what the, the machine would do so now we're going to look at the condition of the machine and in condition, I mean, on the roller, there's not a lot to look at. Of course, you have, a, this is all hydrostatic, so you have um, an engine. Uh, in this case, it's a dirt two-cylinder engine. But you also have to look at uh, drums, tires, articulations, uh, and especially on the drum where, the, where we have the vibration. So then we're going to get closer. Often what you need to look at is within the drum, if there's any oil drip. Uh, in this case, particular case, the drum is, is dry. And if I look at the edge of the drum, I mean, this machine has uh, 1,200 hours. The drum's uh, edge is pretty, pretty sharp. So sometimes when you see a machine where the, the drum is, has been worn a lot, the edge on the edge right here, uh, starts to be round. In this case, it's 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 not. So we'll, we'll go and have a look at the other on the other side of the drum, and you can see here it's the same thing. The drum is dry, uh, and, and there's no issue. And again, the the drum edge is pretty sharp. Of course, I would look at the articulation. It's always a bit difficult to test it because you cannot move. But when you test the machine, you uh, you could see if there's a lot of play in this case. I've tested the machine already uh, there, There's no play uh, And there's no obviously on the ground. There's no oil leak. So that's also a good sign Then you can look at the wear on the tire these machines often are running against uh, edges like um, Borders concrete borders. So the tires could be cut in this case. It's not So you see again condition of the tires are really good it's, uh, it's really nice of course you can look also at the wear on the on the wiper and you see here that the wipers have, have been worn but it's nothing uh, I mean eventually they will have to be changed but it's not a big deal it's just plastic but uh, you, you can see that they they've done some work but at the same time it's not it's not uh, excessive work huh? especially for for uh, 1250 hours then you look at the at the station of the of the the operator here. You get the seat that's worn, but of course these machines are staying outside most of the time, so they get uh, the, the the plastic wears out or gets dry, and then it starts cracking, especially when they're in the sun. But you look at the seat itself; it's it's pretty good. Then you look at the at the at the gauge gauges. Everything is there. Everything is is running. You can even see the hours there: 1,200 and and 48 hours exa exactly if we look around the machine you know it's in good condition there's a there's a one stretch there but it's nothing major all the lights are still in one piece and running the rubbers the the bumpers are still there so it just gives you a good idea that this machine could well have <coughs> 1200 hours same thing in the back all the lights are there uh, even at the top you know everything is complete everything runs so it's a machine that uh, an owner would have would get was in pretty good condition now we look at the engine um, the engine is also 
I mean, for a dirt engine, it's really good. I don't see any oil drip anywhere along, along the engine. If you look at it, at the bottom, there's nothing, it's all dry. So overall, I would, uh, I would say uh, for 2006 uh, machine, uh, which is pretty hard that it has only 1200 hours, I would tend to trust the hour, especially, especially that I know where the machine is, is coming from. It's coming from a very large French rental company. And sometimes these rollers, they just sit and they, they don't get used so much.